what is going on guys this is the Morph Gamer and today we are reviewing the Nigerian tank in form Emmanuel Emenike of Fenerbahce in the Turkish League. Now once again we're going to get up the stats from futhead.com we're going to talk about his pros and his cons of the card and then hopefully give an overall rating. So we picked up the Emenike card for 125,000 coins now his price has dropped significantly in the last sort of couple of days to around 1993k you can pick him up for a bite now price so we're going to talk first about the positives of the Inform Emenike card. So the first thing 84 finishing is absolutely fantastic along with the 88 shot power shots just become very easy with m &EK. everyone understands that he's an OP player his normal card is OP anyway but if you add on some extra shooting stats and some extra power then he becomes an absolute beast as well as that you've got the 92 strength now for m &EK, everyone knows that he's the big powerful player he was missed last season but once he returned this season everyone had the hype about him again now this inform card obviously has its value just for the fact that it is in for Memonike. So 92 strength, he will not play his off the ball quite easily without problem. Obviously included with that strength is his overall pace. Now if you had a strong pacey player, everyone likes him. The likes of Lukaku, um, sometimes even Wilfred Bonny just down to the strength. Everyone loves them strong pacey players that can knock defenders off the ball but also have a good sprint speed. So his pace is 89 overall and I find that that's probably one of his positives and also giving him the value to his card. Now another one is reactions. Now the M and EK card seems to get in the right spaces at the right time. Now he holds his run quite well and doesn't get caught offside that much. Especially because he is that fast, he doesn't really have to be on the last man. He can give him a couple of yards and probably beat them. Especially with the strength, he can just push players off the ball. So reactions to the actual gameplay itself, you know, as an AI, it kind of works well and gets in the right positions for a couple of goals. The final positive which I'm going to talk about is his work rate. Now, as a striker, you want the high work rate, and he has that, and he also has a low defending work rate. You don't really want him tracking back. There's no point. You want to utilise the attacking presence that m &EK has. So for that reason, high low work rates is the best thing for the m &EK card. There's only a couple of negatives about the m &EK card, just down to the fact that I'm playing him as the striking role, and I don't want to go into detail about other things such as interceptions, marking, and defensive duties. The only things that I'd say is just down to his pace and his overall strength dribbling seems a bit static and it seems a bit subdued um, he's not a smooth dribbler now the dribbling on the card isn't a bad stat he's got 80 dribbling um, but overall his agility is like 67 so it doesn't really work out it cuts kind of counteracts away from his tendency to dribble in and out of players he'll more run directly and into space as opposed to take on players another one is passing if you are playing him up as a striker on his own then that's absolutely fine however if you are playing with another uh, striker and a couple of wingers that sort of thing passing isn't the best thing you want to use him as the last man that probably the target man the poacher or the complete forward just down to the fact that he should be the last line of attack firing off the shots with him so anyway guys this has been the quick review on the inform m &EK card this has been the morph game i hope you've enjoyed this review if you have please leave a like subscribe and a comment below and see you next week for another review peace